Okay. So this is like the previous portfolio balance I have. I've like, uh, I don't know. I, I think I bought like Light, uh, Litecoin or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we can't use that, right? Yes, you can. So basically, you only have to buy 12,000. Um, so we can put it into USDC or Ethereum. Um, so since you already have an Ethereum balance, let's go ahead and throw it into Ethereum. Uh, it'll help us take care of a small transaction fee to get uh, the money over uh, into uh, Binance. So, um, okay. so what do I do now? So go ahead and press the uh, the USD coin button, or actually you can press the Ethereum button. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, I don't think I'm making any profit on this Litecoin thing yet. I don't know. I don't well, care really. <laughs> I'm sure you made some money on Litecoin already. It, it went up from like $17 last year. No, I mean, I bought it like recently. I think I, I bought it like 180 something and it's like 160 right now. So I just, I don't know. Well, if the whole market up. went down 25% at least. So a lot of coins went down 50%. Some coins just d nearly disintegrated. Yeah. Um, All right, so Ethereum. Yep, Ethereum it is. Okay, so click ETH wallet at the bottom. Where it says 40, yeah, just click uh, trade and then click uh, the the deposit so to or from uh press the deposit and then um hmm. or there's got to be a transfer so we try to transfer the litecoin into no 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 here. there's a there's a different method let's actually use usdc USDC, I think you have more options. Uh, okay. Okay. Go back to we'll portfolio. Go. Yep. And click on USDC. Uh, click deposit. No, there's there should be four options. Uh, maybe you have an old. How long have you had this? Uh, the app, the Coinbase app. Um, I don't remember. I mean, I keep it updated. I'm not sure. Let's let's go to the um, app store and see um, button at the bottom right corner. I mean, the bottom center rather. <clears throat> and then let's press uh, buy crypto with cash at the top. And then let's click Ethereum. And then add a payment method. Uh, add payment method. PayPal. Continue. Login. Steve, which one you need to use? Yeah, if you happen to already have a PayPal account that's connected to your debit card, all the better. Um, if not, then we, you know, you can just add it right here. Sure. Oh, it's not working. Hold on a second. Click on the trade. Yep. Bye. And we're going to go with Ethereum this time since the market's on its way back up. Uh, and you can see that it actually has a $35,000 limit. So we know we're good there. That's, that's always a good sign. Um, and then you're going to put in the amount that you're looking to invest today. So what about the, the one that I already have in Coinbase? Uh, yeah, you can subtract from that. So I believe it was about 3,000, so you can put 12,000. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Was that good? Yeah. So it's 4.7 by now. Yeah, that Coinbase fee you can't avoid. It, it, because of the uh, old standards of the uh, banking industry, it's uh, set at 3%. So it's like really not Coinbase charging you a ridiculous um, amount. Like you can press the I right there and uh -huh. you'll see that it's um, actually not like you know, something they can really get around. They have to charge you a, a certain amount. Actually, if we press the back button, I think um, you save some amount of money by getting USDC. So let's do USDC. Since it's a large amount, small percentages mean a lot. Okay. I mean, if it's like just the convenience thing, that it doesn't really matter. I mean, I can do... I mean, the convenience thing is uh, to just go with Ethereum. Um, and I want you to notice something. It says, want to send your ETH? You can send $10,000 instantly. So that's a very important point that you can only send 10,000 instantly and the rest will be available in five days. Just so you, then uh, this is because you've already built up a relationship with Coinbase. So the average person coming into this it might be 10,000, it might be 5,000. So we need to test this a little bit more to know exactly what the limits are going to be. Okay. Um, so you're going to have to, you're going to actually, I would do um, USDC because 2,000 of that purchase um, is just going to be sitting there. So let's press the back button. Uh, let's uh, press the back button. Let's actually do this in USDC. It's, it's a better coin to be doing this. So USD coin. Uh, from that same screen, yeah, press buy, uh, and then... What do I press? The same button you pressed already at the very bottom, yeah, press buy. Uh, and then click USD coin, it's right under 0x, whoa, yeah, in the, kind of in the center. It's zero, it's a, uh, yeah. And now, uh, type in... And then, uh, press preview buy. And you can see the Coinbase fee is actually zero. You see what I mean? And yep. that's because Coinbase is actually issuing the, uh, they're minting. This is how stable coins work. They mint uh, money when you buy it. And then when you sell it, they burn the money. So that's what keeps the price stable to the amount of money that they have uh, ready to back the coin. So you can buy now. Okay, your order was submitted. Uh, so you can view your account and you should be able to see it uh, pretty instantly. Um, yeah, actually, you see it already. You can see at the very top, you already see it. Um, so now you can go uh, and trade, and we're going to convert uh, what you have in the other cryptocurrency. Okay. So where do I go? That uh, press trade? the trade button right there. Yep. Uh, convert. And uh, so we're going to press the uh, yeah. T change Litecoin. Change it from Litecoin. Change that. To, let's see. Uh, you, you oh yeah, you the, wanted you wanted to change it from Litecoin, yeah. So leave it in Litecoin uh, for the for the at, select asset. Press the back button at the top left. Okay, so then it, you're going to you're going into USDC. Yep, and then you're gonna press the max button. And you're going to press the convert now button. And you're going to press the view account button. And now you have zero LTC to trade. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to send, um, we're going to send the USDC as well as the, um, 
the Ethereum separately. So right now, uh, you have like about $27 worth of Ethereum. It's actually necessary for you to uh, convert the USD coin from the Ethereum network, which is what this, uh, what these wallets are actually based in. And that's why there was a Coinbase fee because Coinbase has to charge you uh, a certain amount of Ethereum uh, or they have to charge you a certain price and then they convert it into Ethereum gas price for you. Uh, it all works pretty seamlessly um, uh, because they have, I'm sure, a beautiful smart contract behind this all. Uh, which is not on GitHub, I'm sure. And so let's press the uh, trade button at the bottom center of the screen. And then let's press the uh, send button. And we're going to be sending this into... Uh. You just try it again. It probably has to do with your internet connection. I don't know. Let's see. Um, actually, now would be a really good time to switch over to your laptop, to be honest, because of the way that the Binance bridge doesn't work uh, on the phone. And the Binance bridge is the best thing to use because it all stays in your wallet. Binance bridge. So the thing with Binance is I've actually tried building a account there and... And no, it, it won't let me because you don't need to have an account there to use it. It's a no KYC platform. Okay. Just so like, like in New York State and stuff, like it doesn't allow it. I either. understand. Just like Hopit, it's a no KYC uh, crypto exchange, which is one of the main reasons why I use it because we can stay anonymous. We don't have to, and we can actually use it because, yeah, New York State regulations are very stringent and only a handful of exchanges are actually supported by New York State and Coinbase is one of them, but Coinbase uh, does not allow for any other blockchain than Ethereum. So that's why we can't use it uh, to do any transactions on. And the Binance Bridge is actually a decentralized um, application on the blockchain that connects directly to your wallet and does the exchanging from one side of your wallet to the other.